do tarot card readings. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Just announcing that. I'm, I'm a writer also, I'm an author. You guys read? I, do, I know how to read, I don't. That's different than reading. Right, yes. Uh, I, don't, I don't do tarot readings myself. I don't. No, I mean reading books. Oh, yes. I'm an author, I also write books. Right. About <laughs> interesting stuff, interesting things. Stuff that no one else writes about. I study about Kabbalah. You know Kabbalah? Nope. So Kabbalah is Jewish mysticism. See? And Jewish mysticism, you know, 2,000 years ago, they write this book, Zohar. And in it, they describe the outer seven planets of our solar system. They, they weren't discovered until 100 years ago. I was going to say, how, how would they have known about that? Well, well, see, we have this tradition that the Garden of Eden was just beyond the Kuiper Belt. So when they left, they went to Pluto. And then from Pluto, and they went through all the planets until they came, came to the Earth. And that's, uh, that's how they, they, they knew the planets were there before you know, we have instruments to actually see them. That would make sense. That would be There's many connection. things that are embedded into our solar system, which are just amazing. I mean, they're just like, like you know, the, the eclipse is happening. You know about the eclipse? So the year in, in, in uh, Hebrew from the first human being is 5,777. And we're going into like a thousand years of woman. So, uh, you know, there's kind of a, tra uh, a transition, transitional point, you know, this eclipse. You know, no more, uh, you know, it's just like this kind of male dominance is kind of over and there's going to be a thousand years of peace and nobody knows about it. So that's what I write about. It's other things I write about. I write about lots of things. Well, thank you for that information. Sure. I have a card if you'd like a card. Would you like a card? I'm okay for that. All right. All right. There's no obligation here. Thank you. Have nice, a nice meeting you guys. Day, guys. No, Happy Ham Fest. Thank you. It was nice meeting you too. <laughs> for cannabis uh, independent oh, cool. uh, businesses and consumers for everybody. Cool. Yeah. Based out of Seattle. Got it. All right. Where's my lady at? I know there's some ladies out here in the sunshine on the big guy. Okay. That is, and I think part of why this light is coming to you, because this is from the soul, and the soul is communicating with you with this kind of light, is because you have a love problem. And your love problem, you can see it here, is a card of love. And this guy is uh, a given to a poor guy. He's not given to this guy, he's kind of weighing out who he should give what to. And that ain't, that's not, that's not, that, that's not a cool love. I mean, love, in Hebrew, love means I have, I give. But here he's making the guy beg for it. And he's giving to one and not to another. So this is a problem in love. And like this card here, the future, shows two people of equal stature and they're going to get married and everything is full of light. So having this kind of love where it's, where it's a, a disparity, Hey, and where one has to beg for another, where it's just, you know, it's kind of a, you know, it's not good. How do you fix it, right? Because there's something wrong. Yeah, I just right? don't want, I'm not, I don't want the love, I'm ready for it. Yeah. Uh, not, well, I, but there's a reason for that. I mean, why is a person not ready for love, right? You yeah. should be ready for love. Yeah, I mean, it just seems there's something wrong. Yeah. So the, the way you fix it, see, this is the soul of action. And the guy is looking into a cup and a fish is looking back at him. See? And this is the thing, that you, you have a particular skill, really that's peculiar to you. I'm not sure other people have the skill, but you... It's not, a, it's not enough just to end the, the relationship. You have to really end wanting relationships. Like, I mean, like, all of us who've grown up in really fucked up situations, you, when you see that situation in life, you gravitate to it. Because there's something very normal about it. Right? And, and so we, it really takes willpower to say, I had enough of that.
Fuck that, I can do it. I don't have to do it. It might be in my DNA, but I don't have to do it. And that's the thing, you have to want, you know, to get out of it. You have to want to know that it's over. That it enters into your heart and it's over. He puts his foot down, people walk away, throw down their swords. He picks up the swords, man. More swords, better for me. He's a strong dude. And as a result of this, he mourns. Choose two cars, put them here and here. Real quick is uh, from Stoner. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.